net carbs. I'm here to tell you why this is probably the number one biggest mistake everybody's making in going keto. Tune in to learn more. Guys, welcome back. So I was actually talking about this very topic today on TikTok, on Instagram, and I think the puppies having a little issue out there in the kitchen. Everything okay out there? <laughs> and I also just want to say that that's probably why you're seeing me in the same workout clothes that you've seen me in from my last video. I told my husband the other day, I'm like, I promise when you come home from work today, I will not be in the same workout <laughs> outfit that I have been in the last four or five days since we got the puppy. And I believe that I am, at least the top. I have fresh clean socks on and fresh clean Lululemons, but I believe I may have the same sports bra on and the same Lululemon tank on that I've been wearing. Anyway, I digress. So let's talk about um, net carbs. So I have been um, joining quite a lot of Facebook groups uh, the past several weeks. And one of the things that keeps popping up in all of these Facebook groups, and honestly, I'm not saying this to be sarcastic, it breaks my heart when I see people who are just starting their keto journey post these very excited, you know, full of anticipation uh, posts going, oh my God, I, you know, I went grocery shopping and here's all the stuff I bought. I'm ready to go keto. Or, you know, maybe they're already keto and they're like, you know, here's all the stuff. You guys look at what I discovered. Maybe they found a certain grocery store or I think I saw people posting about, I think big lots or something where, you know, you can get a bunch of stuff for a good price or this is what you can get at Costco or blah, 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 blah. And some of them are sharing recipes, some of them are sharing good deals, some of them are sharing both, some of them are sharing new brands, whatever. But typically, if somebody's sharing a you know grocery haul type of a post, um, they're showing a picture of this is everything I bought. And what took me aback is, you know, I'm so used to from having been in the fitness space for so long, I'm used to seeing you know, grocery haul type of posts at Trader Joe's, at Whole Foods, and seeing lots of produce, lots of organic foods, lots of, you know, like real food and stuff that's really good for you. And, and what I see in these posts is stuff that back in the day, you know, people, a lot of people will compare uh, keto to Atkins to, you know, those types of that, well, really probably most notably to, to Atkins, but, it reminds me of what gave Atkins a bad name, you know, just everything that's conceivably bad for you. Um, and, and as much as I hate to label food bad for you, good for you, good food, you know, food good and bad, in this case, at some point, we can, I think, all agree to look at some things and go, okay, if this is as a whole what you're generally eating on a day to day basis, whether you're keto or not keto, like this isn't probably gonna get you healthy. This isn't probably gonna get you to where you're losing weight. Um, yeah, if you got yourself in a caloric deficit and all you were eating was glazed donuts every day, you might, you know, there's like those exceptions where some people have done that and they've lost weight, but they've probably gotten sick and they've probably at some point hit a plateau and they've probably at some point had a host of other health issues. And, you know, they look back and go, why, 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 right? Let's not talk about those rare exceptions. Let's not try to like prove the odd exception. Like, let's talk about the fact that for most of us that want to lose weight, we also want to be healthy. We also want to like live on this earth for a long time and have a, an optimally functioning body, right? So for those people who want to lose weight, if you don't know that not only can the keto approach to losing weight and, and whatever variations of the keto approach to losing weight you're going to do, I certainly recommend my evolved keto approach, of course heavy plug. Um, if, if you don't know that the keto approach to losing weight is one that is hugely successful, has a wonderful track record of helping people lose weight, um, 
safely, effectively, quite often, I, I hesitate to say this, but I'm gonna say it, um, somewhat rapidly, I don't, I don't wanna say rapidly, I would say faster, um, you know, like, a solid and when I did it when I when I started my weight loss journey with with keto I was not as fast as other people so it's not that that way for everybody you know I, I think my insulin resistance and my issues with carbs are a lot stronger than most people I lost weight at it at a rate of about um, half a pound to a pound a week um, and I'm fine with that for me I'd actually Let's be real, everybody would rather, if you know you have 20 pounds to lose, who wouldn't say, I'd rather lose that in a month, you know? We'd all say that if we're being real with ourselves. But I'm very happy with the fact that I lost consistent weight and it just, you know, I never, I never was like, oh, I lost, 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 it went back up. I lost, went back up, lost, went back up. This was my journey, just losing, 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 losing until I hit my, my weight loss goal. And then I was actually concerned that I would keep losing because I didn't, I just felt like I was almost getting too, I was losing too much weight and never in my adult life had I ever said that. So it is not only a solid way to lose weight, it helps address a, a host of, of health problems. Um, and, and I'll get into those in, a, in another video, okay? I'll address long-term health issues that keto can help with. Um, it helps your gut. Um, but if it's, if it's done the right way, you know, I mean, it's, it's really going to be a lot more effective with your weight loss. If it's done the wrong way, it can really backfire on you. And that's what I think so many people don't realize is that they're looking at keto as, well, this is just, I've heard that you can lose a lot of weight on keto. I heard that, you know, I can still eat, you know, cheeseburgers or, or whatever. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this and and then I'm, I'm gonna go back to eating the way I was. If you have that attitude, I'm gonna just do keto for a short amount of time and then I'm gonna go back to eating the way I was you're really being delusional um, and you're really being kind of dumb, frankly, for lack of a better way of saying it. Because if you're eating a certain way now and it's gotten you 50 pounds overweight, 100 pounds overweight, 20 pounds overweight, and you haven't been able to lose it, eating the way you're eating, working out the way you're working out, why would you think that changing your diet and your exercise and, and then that works, that gets you somewhere. Why would you think that going back to what wasn't working would suddenly keep those changes that you just made in place? <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense, you know? If you had a dead lawn out front and you were using a certain fertilizer on it, and, and it was not working and you had dead grass. And then finally you went to Home Depot and you bought a different brand because everybody in your neighborhood told you, oh my God, I use brand B and you've been using brand A. So you go and you buy brand B and you put it on your, your lawn and you see, oh my God, I have green grass, it's flourishing, this is amazing. Would you the next weekend go out and buy brand A again? No, you would keep buying brand B because you would want to keep making sure you had green, beautiful grass. You would keep buying brand B. Why do so many people go back to brand A and think that their grass is gonna keep flourishing? I see it all the time. So that's, that's like a side mistake that people make is thinking they can go on any diet, lose the weight, and then just go back to doing what they were doing before. And, and then they gain all the weight back and usually gain all the weight back and then some, and then they go, oh, that diet doesn't work. No, you don't work. Your brain doesn't work. Your logic doesn't work. You need to get a clue and like think like an adult. But let's go back and wrap this up with the very simple but very necessary understanding of this net carb nonsense, which is what I call it, that too many people focus on with keto and what they really need to focus on instead is whole foods. So 
Everybody's heard about net carbs, but really what most people do um, when they're starting out, and this is what I see in all of these groups, is they decide to go keto and they go to the grocery store and instead of buying chicken and fish and steak and hot dogs and you know eggs whole you know whole pastured eggs and you know a wide variety of proteins and cheeses and um, vegetables and even some fruits yes you can eat some fruit on keto um, and things to make salads with and maybe even you know some you know rice or maybe you don't want to do rice at all you just do cauliflower rice whatever instead of doing that they go down all of the packaged food aisles and the frozen food aisles and they buy every fake food imaginable with a keto label on it. They buy keto ice cream, Duncan Hines keto cake mix, Duncan Hines keto, and I'm just calling out Duncan Hines because I saw it on a post today. Duncan Hines keto frosting, um, keto cookies, keto cereal, keto granola. I'm thinking about things I just saw in a post where a woman, she, she posted all this keto spaghetti sauce, keto spaghetti, keto pasta, keto cereal, keto the, and it's like, I'm looking at this post of this woman and I'm like, is there any real food in your, in your thing? It's like cookies, granola, cereal, um, cake, muff, there's muffin mix, there's this. And then everybody in the comments below, they're like, oh my God, I love that granola. Oh my God, that muffin mix is to die for, blah, blah, blah. And don't think, I don't like, don't think I don't love granola. I love granola. Don't think I don't love muffins. I love muffins. But if you go into keto with the understanding, and you probably don't have the understanding if you're doing this, but the reason the keto works so well is that low carb works well because people who are not losing weight and having an issue losing weight and probably have had an issue losing weight for a long time, like myself, I was working out six, seven days a week, up to two hours a day with a trainer um, at Gold's Gym. Um, so I would work out with a trainer for an hour, sometimes do an additional hour. Um, and I was in a caloric deficit of 1600 calories, balancing my macros, all of this stuff, unable to lose weight. And then I went keto because I, ha I discovered with my functional medicine doctor, I had a major inflammation problem and a major insulin resistance problem. Keto dresses that because when it, it dramatically decreases your inflammation, it dramatically helps with insulin resistance because it's it's just basically taking away all the things that raise your insulin and impact your glucose levels bless you and when you understand that when you understand that everything you were eating the way you were eating before even if you're eating the most healthy organic versions of fruits and or and grains and all of that stuff it still can be creating an insulin response. I'm using a, a, a continuous glucose monitor now, and I know that for me, for example, rice, and I do still consume rice, I just watch it and I'm very, I have to keep it at a major moderation, um, in moderation, um, is one of the things that spikes my glucose more than any other carb. For other people, it's probably not so true. Um, but if you know that it's carbs that really can increase your blood sugar and, and therefore have a glucose response, which is what's going to cause you to store fat. And then you go out and you buy all these fake foods. And what you need to understand about these fake foods, these, these con consumer packaged goods, that they've made them keto. You know how they've made them keto? The only thing they've done is they've said, okay, hmm, I've got this cake mix and it normally has 20 carbs in it. Well, the way that I make them have lower carbs is doing this net carb equation. And so they get lower net carbs by subtracting the fiber, but also we can just subtract sugar alcohols and we can subtract, you know, this, I think it's subtracting sugar alcohols and alcohols or something. So you subtract the fiber and subtract the sugar alcohol. So all of these big food brands are like, this is how we get people to buy our food instead of just buying vegetables and protein and shit like that. That's what we do. We'll inject this food with a bunch of fake fiber 
jack up the fiber so that you're overly bloated. Jack it up with erythritol, which by the way, I'm sure you might have seen all the press that's out about erythritol now causing heart issues. That's good fun. Also, when you consume excess erythritol, it ferments in your stomach, which is also gonna cause a crap ton of bloating. I don't, I avoid erythritol like the plague. So they add a bunch of sugar alcohols, a bunch of extra unnecessary fiber, simply so that they can tell you, oh, by the way, all those carbs in there, pretend they're not there, they don't count, because you just subtract these numbers. Really? Let me tell you something. If something has 20 grams of carbs, it has 20 grams of carbs. I don't care if some food company tells you that they can subtract the sugar alcohols and subtract the fiber. You should be counting 20 grams of fat, or excuse me, 20 grams of carbs. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Somebody can argue with me all day, but guess what? I never counted net carbs. I simply ate whole foods and I never worried about net carbs. I simply stuck to 50 grams of carbs a day or less. Every woman that I have coached who has gone through my keto boot camp online, her who I coached one-on-one, -on -one, has followed the same approach and um, I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds doing keto this way. And all the while, I was also drinking alcohol every weekend, eating things like sushi, potatoes, french fries, not in excess, I don't want to mislead you. It wasn't like eating a whole thing of french fries or you know a big mass of potato. I had reasonable portions and I planned for it with my carbs during the day. And that's, that's what I teach people to do in my course, like how to enjoy this stuff so you make keto a lifestyle, but so you can lose weight. But if I, here's what I believe. If you're buying all that crap, that fake packaged food, and you're having cookies and cakes and muffins and granola, and, and you add up the regular carbs in those foods, you are probably consuming 10 times the amount of carbs that you think you are. Number two, if you are going out and buying spaghetti and muffins and granola and cereal and um, cupcakes and, and making stuff with that's filled with chemicals and you're making all of these carbs and you're not even eating real food, I mean, are you kidding yourself? Do you actually think you've improved your health and improved your diet and that you're doing something better for yourself? I mean, does that, where's the logic coming in? That's like saying, you know, I'm gonna go on the cocaine diet in a way. Like, I, why wouldn't you just try to do something better for yourself? I mean, if you, if you go on keto and do whole real foods and start cooking, and you don't have to cook grandiose things. I mean, heavy plug here. I put out a keto cookbook, the link is down below. And there are some of just the most delicious, amazing recipes. My husband is not keto. He's out there cooking in the kitchen. We're having like this egg skillet tonight. He eats all the foods that I eat and he loves all the recipes that are in that keto cookbook. Sometimes he'll make something that like, if we make the meatballs that are in there, sometimes he'll have pasta with his, but half the time he eats it just like I do. He'll eat the keto version of stuff. Sometimes if we make like the fish tacos, I'll eat it without the um, tortilla or I'll use egg life tortillas. He'll, he'll eat regular corn tortillas. Um, you know, we vary things in that way sometimes, but everything in there is absolutely freaking delicious. Like, outrageously delicious. I dare you to buy my cookbook, start cooking out of it, and not be like, oh my God, I can lose weight eating this stuff? Yeah, and then why would you wanna go buy that crap that can sit on a shelf until the zombie apocalypse happens? No, that's, that's no way to live, that's no way to be healthy, that's no way to look good. Like, you will look and feel so much better by changing your quality of food. And let me tell you, the weight loss will happen so much faster, so much, like it's gonna be such an easier slide into weight loss when you eat real foods than if you eat that crap. The whole net carb thing is a joke. Take my word for it, test it out. Give yourself 30 days, eat nothing but real foods, don't buy the net carb nonsense. Start looking at the labels. If you have a if you have a refrigerator and a pantry full of 
fake keto foods, look at the labels. And then also add up the real carbs and see how many carbs you've been consuming a day and figure out if you're over your 20 grams of carbs a day or over 50 grams of carbs a day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if this video was helpful. My dog is telling me it's time to go eat dinner. I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this video was helpful. I'm going to link up to my ever expanding keto playlist so that you can check out my other videos. Please let me know if you have any questions or email me at kelly at kellyalexa.com.